Good afternoon friends, welcome to the mid market update from the advisory desk. Uh, firstly to take you to the uh, Indian markets, it opened uh, almost 100 points down on the Sensex. Uh, same with the Nifty uh, opened about 30 odd points uh, down uh, because of the weak Asian indices. Uh, Nikka is down below 9000 points down. Uh, and also in the US market on Friday was down by almost 1% because of the weak uh, US jobs data. Uh, today the fall in the Indian market is led by uh, almost all these sectors like metals, real estate, uh, pharma, capital goods, banking. Uh, in spite, just about IT stocks are doing good because uh, the rupee has now again inched back towards 56 to dollar. Uh, because of uh, no positive surprises from the central bankers that they might inject more liquidity. So we are seeing some weakness even in the rupee front. Uh, so uh, on the stock front, uh, real estate HDL and IBUL is down by almost 5.5%. Uh, in banking, SBI is down 1%. Uh, ICICI Bank is still better down by almost 0.5% uh, only. It is showing some resilience uh, in metals, Tata Steel, uh, JSW Steel is down by 2 to 2.5 percent. So overall it's like a broad based selling, uh, there is not much buying seen in those counters uh, in spite the market showed some resilience in the last week uh, where it stayed in a tight range. Uh, on the stock, uh, individual stock news, uh, Subex uh, is up by almost 3-3.5% three, three uh, because it is given uh, the extension of FCCCB repayment deadline. Uh, certain KP stocks uh, like you know GMR, uh, IVRCL, Pentaloon, those stocks are down anywhere between 5-10% to 10%, uh, because of the IB report uh, coming out that they might investigate into this uh, certain stocks which they might feel or think about uh, KP might rigging up the stock prices. So those stocks are under pressure. In fact, all the other infrastructure stocks are in uh, uh, negative uh, bias today. <clears throat> also on the other front, uh, we might see JP Associates is down by almost 4%. Uh, so I mean, friends, it's like almost uh, all the sectors are down only like Infosys and IT, uh, TCS is doing good. Uh, we have results of Infosys and TCS on this Thursday. So uh, there might be a tight range and some volatility expected in those stocks. Uh, friends, that's it, the news we have. Uh, till now, we'll get back to you in post market. Thank you.